And welcome in to a Thursday edition of the Backstage Pass. Of course, this is kind of like the TGIF version because there's no shows tomorrow here on the show here. Brandon Morrell and Kirsty Krause, happy Easter to everybody out there. Happy Good Friday tomorrow. So, yeah, we won't be here. Nice three-day weekend uh, coming up. We'll start shows coming up next week on Monday. And some good things next week. Miss Jeannie Seeley is going to stop by. We'll catch up with her. Uh, the royalty of Grand Ole Opry, I like to call her. And then, of course, some other surprises uh, down the road. In fact, just got another one today. I'm not going to reveal it just yet, but uh, somebody you'll definitely want to be on the lookout for who's killing it in Nashville uh, right now, too, as well. We're going to talk more about that as the shows and the weeks go on. Brandon Morrell, Kirsty Krause were presented by Tour Guitars, which is a great company out there uh, for your custom-made guitar company. Uh, check them out, tourguitars.us and Bangtail Whiskey, bangtail.com, and also download the Easy Liquor app, and, of course, uh, you get that bottle sent directly to you your doorstep. And if you missed uh, any of that information, guess what? It's at the bottom. That's why they call it a crawl down there. Well, I'll tell you what, he's crawled, climbed, and he's at the top of his own game out there in Texas country. AJ, Brody Lane, what joining up? us here on the show. What's up, man? What's up, man? I'm just excited to be here, excited to play, and get it. we're starting to get out now. The world's starting to open up, thank God. And, uh, and uh, thanks for having me, man. This is really cool. It's, it's funny because you guys uh, – Y'all do the sports thing as well, right? This y'all are big sports. Yeah. <laughs> my, uh, our, our crew, my crew guy, Patrick Davis. We, we he was on. He's been on tour with us for years and years, and he's he was always a big sports guy. And he would, I mean, the guy was just a, a genius with stats and all that. And uh, mm -hmm. and now he uh, since everything slowed down, we couldn't tour anymore. He's actually got him a job. We were like, man, you should you should be a sports guy because like, <laughs> you know, I mean, he's got the voice and everything. And now we have we here in Austin, Texas, we have a, a, a station called the Horn, and it's a big mm -hmm. sports play. Uh, and he's one of the, he's one of the big like <laughs> stat guys now on the station, so he's happy there. So we're, we're going to yank him off off of that when we get back on the road. <laughs> he, he's right. having a good time, man. So yeah, we have we have a good time. He can come by the show anytime and talk sports with us. No yeah. oh, he's good, man. He's good. He'll, he'll give you he'll give you some he'll, he'll debate you well, you know. Well, we got to start from we got to start from square one. You guys have such a funny story. I don't know how many bands can say they were put together during the quarantine. Uh, so did you know the other, you know, your brothers, the other guys of Brody Lang? Uh, yeah. Tell us how you know them, how you guys came together and well, um, uh, what you started doing. Yeah. Yeah. We, well, I was, you know, I've, I've been doing this for a minute and we were signed to Sony Records back uh, back in the day. And it's my band with my brothers and we all kind of grew up together. And, uh, this Texas, this is half Texas, Texas accent, but the other half, we grew up in Alabama. So I'm, I got a real Southern accent, uh, <laughs> a little bit of Bama and a little bit of Texas. So, um, but yeah, so we, we all moved here about 25, 26 years ago. And, uh, we've been living down this road it's, and we didn't even plan it like that. Uh, there's a road called Brody lane in South Austin and it, it, it runs for about six miles. And, uh, we moved here in this in this house uh, as a band, and then everybody started, you know, getting married, and having kids, and we didn't really plan it. Like they got, man, I got this house over here. So we, it's almost like a commune. My mom, my dad, my brothers, my sister, we all live down Brody Lane. That's so, uh, um, so during the pandemic, when everything started shutting down, uh, we all started taking a break. My brothers are, you know, producers and stuff like that. We all produce. I'm in, I'm here in my studio working on a record as well. But, um, yeah, couldn't go anywhere and I have a garage and I, I there was the bars were closing down and I, I kind of closed, uh, I asked, you know, I asked my girl, I was like, if it's cool, if I turn this garage into a, a lounge, you know, she's like, okay, whatever. So we built a full blown <laughs> bar. It has a full blown, we built a bar in there. It's fully stocked. We got a stage. I mean, everything. So we, on Thursday nights, we just started having this jam, this kind of, we just started getting together and jamming and inviting a few friends and. And uh, that's the band. We didn't really have a band name or anything, and because everybody lives here off of Brother Lane, so we just started jamming, and <laughs> and then next thing you know, we started recording. I got a studio here at the house, so we started recording. And next thing you know, we're sitting on a record, and uh, then uh, the song "Stuck with You" showed up. Uh, we wrote it about my girl Casey, who's uh, we have uh, some great children, and you know, just kind of cool because she was just like, you know, I'm the provider. As a man, we're providers, and we're working, and we're hustling, doing our thing, but like seeing her day to day, like juggle everything from the kids to taking care of the house and holding everything down. I was just like, God, you're just, you're tough. Like, you know, so I just kind of just inspired me to write a song about, I'm just happy being, cause you could be during the pandemic, you could be stuck with somebody just that you really don't want to be. If you don't, if you <laughs> don't like that person. Yeah. 
you're going to find out real quick <laughs> how bad that relationship is. But, you know, the song's just about being stuck with somebody that's cool, that, that holds it down and takes care of business. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's my dedication. It's my song to her. So, you know, <sighs> people dig it. You know, people are digging it. I'm, the reaction has been great. I, I don't know it. how they could not. It is such a catchy song. And the lyrics, you mm -hmm. one of the lyrics is, you can take over the nation, right? Or what's, yeah. what's the actual you know, lyric? It says, uh, yeah. yeah uh, Love it. Mommy, you're such an inspiration. You, you should be running this whole nation. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what, it, what was and her that, reaction? That's kind of gone to her head, by the way. So uh, oh. she's a, see, but, uh, but she, she deserves it. So. She's like, yeah, maybe I should be. You know what? Maybe I should be the president. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, slow down. Just, just take care of these kids. Take care of these kids. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're, ha we're happy with everything that happened. And uh, yeah, this band is a direct result of the pandemic. So, Crazy. You know, something good came out of it, to say the <laughs> least. <you know? laughs> Can't many people, you're right, uh, say that too, because that's been a, a hell of a fight we've had over the past uh, year, no doubt, and still in a fight ahead of us, too. Again, I always uh, throw props out there, thanking the frontline healthcare workers out there for all the magic Absolutely. that they do to, uh, yes. man, just put their lives on the line and take care of the, the sick and the ill out there, too. So just thank you for everything, nurses, doctors, hospitals, everybody out there on the front line doing their thing out there. Um, and I, I highly encourage people to go get uh, vaccinated if you have not already to uh, do your part out there i tell you what uh aj time to hear a little music here let's do let's start yeah, man. what do you say well since we've been talking about it let me go ahead and start with uh stuck with you uh little tune it's uh the song's called stuck with you here yeah. we go Crazy how on you makes a difference. Never knew it would come to this. Right in an instant, stay home a distance. Scared of the moments we may miss. But things they happen for a reason. Even if we don't understand. Days and weeks they turn to seasons. Maybe it's all part of God's plan. But something I noticed during this time. I can't help but recognize. How did I get someone so cool? Lucky that I got stuck with you. Baby, you get me. Don't ever sweat me. Know that we're trying to make it through. Mama, you're such an inspiration. You should be running this whole nation. Baby, you know this much is true. Thanking God every day that I'm stuck with you. Mm -mm. Know that I make dumb jokes about it Like what you got going on today Where's my breakfast? All my boots shine You roll your eyes and walk away But I wake up every morning Thanking God that we're okay Our children come running down the hallway Wide awake for a new day My friends ask if I'm doing alright Tell them these words every time How did I get someone so cool? Lucky that I got stuck with you. Baby, you get me. Don't ever sweat me. Know that we're trying to make it through. Mama, you're such an inspiration. You should be running this whole nation. Baby, I know this much is true. Thinking God every day that I'm stuck with you. Mm -hmm. This house we live in is nothing grand. But this house of love is our homeland. Mama, you never ask for nothing. Give her a moment that you can. I want to say thank you for your patience. You make this crazy world all right. Mm -hmm. How did I get someone so cool? Lucky that I got stuck with you. Baby, you get me. Don't ever sweat me. Know that we're trying to make it through. Mama, you're such an inspiration. You should be running this whole nation. Baby, I know this much is true. Thinking God every day that I'm stuck with you. Uh -uh, stuck with you. Mm -hmm. Tail Pour is comprised of a sweet corn mash base. The front has a subtle sweetness and not too sharp. It has notes of a medium char or white oak for a smoky flavor in the middle, and the tail has a super smooth and warm finish. 
Love it here on the show. Award-winning producer in his own right out there, too. Uh, Brody Lane, uh, AJ Brody Lane, joining us back here on the Backstage Pass. Of course, he and the guys uh, get some shows out there, so be sure to check out BrodyLane.net uh, for all the shows out there. Hey, like, we have a special a hello. Coming. Yeah, that's it. That's it. There, come here, Uh-oh. Casey. It's Casey. <laughs> Casey, we yeah. love we love this song so very much. What was your reaction the first time you heard it? I loved it. I didn't really know <laughs> that was gonna happen. She's like, "Who are you? Who are you writing about in there?" <laughs> I'm not used to that. So it was it was pretty cool. <laughs> well, it is such a cool song, and we are so happy that we get to have AJ of Brody Lang, and mm-hmm. so cool the story about how the band came together, and it sounds like you are one supportive woman, so we thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, that's sweet. She's about, to go get, she's about to go get the kids and me some chicken nuggets, so. There you go, there's nothing wrong with that, so. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. What, do you, what do you like them nuggets, man? Is that McDonald's? What do you like them? Man, honestly, I've become an... I, I'm kind of the trash compactor. I just eat whatever the kids don't eat. That's good. Uh, they, they don't eat, you know, they, they leave, they order everything and then they leave it half of it there. It's like, I'm going to throw it away. I'm going to, I'm going to eat it. So. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just I yeah, I just, I, I just, I don't, she don't ever order anything for me. She just ordered it for them. And then I just, daddy just eats whatever's left over, which is a lot. It's plenty. So. We don't, we don't waste around here. We don't waste around here. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, the lyrics of that song, and, and that was a solo, right? Correct? So, like, it was it was so, it's so fresh, and it's so everything that's yeah. going on during the pandemic. We also read that you, you wrote a lot of other songs that are life-inspired about what was going on. Talk to us about what the future is. Like, what, is there more music for Brody yeah. Lane? Like, well, the crazy thing is, yes, there's a lot more. I know this sounds very, almost like, um, it's, it's almost indulgent and, but it's very prolific as well. Like we've written 40 songs. So, uh, wow. you know, we've been stuck here for a year, so <laughs> we don't have anything else to do, but I mean, I have a bar, like it's a full, fully stocked bar. So we just sit here and drink and write songs. And then what we do is here in the studio, um, in the garage, uh, you know, in the whiskey, we call it the whiskey lounge. I have the whole, everything's piped into through the attic. I have a whole snake that runs into that. So we record, every rehearsal. So we, we we record songs as we're cutting them and writing them. So a lot of people don't have that luxury. So right. I just kind of, I kind of had a foresight going like, man, I think we're going to be here for a minute, you know, because I don't see going in any way real quick. So I just started spinning on you know, and Casey's like, what are you doing? Cause I'm like cutting holes into the ceiling and feeding snakes <laughs> into the garage. And I'm like, I got a plan. I got a plan. So, but um, yeah, that's one of many songs and we're, we're still writing. We, we just, it's just a great time to, um, to be a band, you know, right now, even if we can't get out and play, but hopefully we'll get out there soon and we can share this music with everybody, you know. That's good music, Absolutely. no doubt. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, talk about uh, the musical influences that growing up, You definitely the country sound, but who were you kind of jamming out to? Which artist? Um, man, it's crazy because, you know, we lived, we, we were born here. Uh, we lived, mm-hmm. I was born and raised in El Campo, Texas. I don't know where you know that. It's like mm-hmm. south of Houston. And, uh, my dad uh, transplanted us over to Alabama when we were kind of in our preteens or early teenage years. So when we started here, it was, of course, Texas music. And I don't know why, for some reason, Conway Twitty was always kind of like every time he came on the radio, that just the way his voice. And I just loved all that. And then we grew up on Hee Haw, of course. So mm-hmm. it was, I don't know if, I don't know if it's before your time or, or not, but, on Friday nights, Hee Haw came on at six, and then Dukes of Hazard came on at seven. Yeah. So, I, I didn't know just to, you know just a good old boy. I didn't know. Yeah. I thought the Dukes of Hazard was saying that. I didn't know like, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know. So, but um, yeah. So we grew up to that, and then when, when we moved to Alabama, then over there, Southern rock's huge. So they're talking about Almond mm-hmm. Brothers, Leonard Skinner, uh, you know, just all that kind of cool stuff. Um, so and then of course, but growing up, I was just big into um you know, Zepp and all the classic rock stuff. And then, um, and then I, I went for, for a minute there, I got into Prince. Prince was cool. Cause I just mm-hmm. was like, who's that little dude playing the guitar like that? You know, and, you know, <laughs> and uh, I, I didn't know, uh, my parents weren't very like, my parents are very conservative. So they didn't talk to us about the birds and the bees a lot. So I learned a lot of my birds and bees through that guy. <laughs> 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 and I was like, yeah, but, um, <laughs> my dad was like, that, that's not all, try don't be following that guy but um mm-hmm. but uh yeah so then and then as i grew up i mean i just started you know i, I became a producer and uh mm-hmm. i just started almost a producer kind of we live vicariously through the artists that we produce and you know started producing you know 
Bree Bagwell and the Reckless Kelly guys and all those cats. They're all my friends and, you know, Fowler and all those yeah. guys, Cody Canada. So that that's kind of where this whole thing bled into uh, starting this with Brody Lane. It just kind of, those are all my friends. That's, that's been my world for the past 10 years. So naturally that's what's, that's what's going to come out in my music. So. Yeah. Super yeah. Cool. And when did yeah. you start playing the guitar and start writing? When did that come in for you? Man, honestly, I was kind of a late bloomer and late bloomer being like about 15, 16, I wouldn't like the prodigy that like started playing guitar. Like when I was eight, <laughs> you see on these videos, like you see like five-year-old drummer. I'm like, what? <laughs> what <are> they, <laughs> almost like what the, like, um, but now I started about 15 How? or 16. <laughs> yeah. I had a bro. Uh, I bought, I had, I was interested in the guitar, but then I wasn't really, you know, I kind of noodle around. I don't want to really serious about it. Uh, back in the days it was hair metal bands and, you know, we all had long hair and I was into like Motley Crue and rat and, you know, but, um, and then I, I was dating this cheerleader, the head cheerleader of the high school. She was beautiful. Her mm -hmm. name was April Carter. And, uh, and then she broke my heart. So I was like, I'm going to show her. So I picked my guitar back up and I just started playing it and then kind of became a little bit of a rock star out there in Alabama and, and, and never turned and never looked back, you know? So thankful to her when we're good friends now, she's a, actually a brain surgeon. So like, wow. She's a, uh, um, yeah, she's gone, <laughs> but yeah, so that, I guess it started, I mean, not to sound cliche, but you know, a girl pushed me to learn guitar so I could go get more girls. Like, <laughs> 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 and I finally got, you know, somebody good. So here we are. There you go. It's a story the roundabout way right there. Yeah. Hey, the, the debut <laughs> single, uh, talk about gonna go man, because, uh, we talked a lot about stuck with you, but, uh, gonna go was kind of one of those, uh, I guess, provocative debut singles. Talk about that one a little bit. Yeah, man. And that's, that's cool that you brought that up. That, that was, that we kind of, that was a test kind of, we, we started to see where before, like when Gonna Go came out, songs like Stuck With You and all that, they, they didn't mean, they weren't even around yet. Uh, Gonna Go was kind of like, um, kind of touching on, the good thing about this Brody Lane thing is I've been able to touch on past relationships, uh, of mine that were very toxic. Um, uh, 12 years ago, I had a heart attack um, and I was just living a really fast life and I was dating some really toxic, you know, people. And uh, just, they finally caught up with me and uh, they put a stint in my heart and uh, I just started living kind of a, a more stress-free life and stuff. So, but it's been really easy for me to like go back to that world and write and go and get in those kind of situations. And, uh, it's been, it's kind of therapeutic. It, sometimes it hurts, but like, I think you can get some good stuff out of there. There's a lot of good stuff mm -hmm. to be had. Cause I can't sit here and write 20 stuck with you. It's like, cause everybody's like, all right, that's enough already. Like, I don't want to eat like the fray. You know what I mean? Like the guy from fray, like, Dude, enough already. We know like, you write songs that make girls cry. like, but, um, yeah. So I like, I like to write a little bit of both. I, I find myself, writing a lot of that, that stuff like going to go the darker stuff easier mm -hmm. kind of comes to me easier. Cause it's a place I'm unfortunately very familiar with. Um, so I'm not really a lovey dovey songwriter guy. So stuck with you is kind of a, mm -hmm. a surprise to me. Cause, and I'm not saying I write dark stuff, but it just seems to me like it's easy for me to kind of go to that place. Cause it's a, uh, I was in it for so long, <laughs> but, um, but now I'm, you know, I'm happy. So, there, there's a couple. I got some good little love songs. I got I got a little bit of I got a little bit of everything for everybody. So the I'm idea is that this album, Hot Dirt, that our new album's mm -hmm. Hot Dirt, coming out on the twentieth. Uh, yeah, and uh, it's got a little bit. It's got a little, uh, trying to figure out. It has twelve songs. Trying to figure out what fits in this batch of songs, this body of work. Uh, mm -hmm. I couldn't decide. Like I was like, how do how do I put love songs and dark songs together to fix? Because people like get confused. Like okay. Girls are like, oh, I love stuck with you. And then all of a sudden they hear something like gonna go and they're like, oh, what happened there? They, they think like it's about her, but it's not. It's about it's about everything, you know. So that's that's the great thing about uh writing songs, just being able to uh tell stories, you know. So I hope people kind of can dig on that. Sure can. And you know, yeah. before we hear the next one, I do want to throw these out there because I took the time to write them down. So I'm gonna take the time to spit out what I wrote down. Uh, some shows coming up for Brody Lane to catch out there. Now that shows are coming back, and thank God they are, because I'm actually going to my first live music event over at one of our sponsors, Hermes Double E Grocery, uh, this weekend to see a couple of great Texas musicians. But if you're up in the area of uh, Buda, Texas, uh, Buck's Backyard this Saturday, 8 o'clock. Uh, Brody Lane's there the 8th of April. 
Uh, Bar 620 Unplugged, Lakeway, Texas. Um, That's a fun of course, fun time. Austin is going to be uh, April 9th, Peggy's Porch Party. Uh, that's yeah. always an awesome place up there. Uh, back to Lakeway on the 23rd. And, of course, the Kima Brew Fest in Kima out oh. there the 24th, uh, 3 o'clock on that uh, Saturday. And then yeah. there's there's one in July coming up, Creed, uh, Creed Fisher's Rowdy is fourth. Uh, Love Creed Fisher's been on the show here uh, in Clifton, Texas, uh, July 3rd. So if you want more of that, BrodyLane.net to get those show times yep. and dates. But I wanted to run them down for you, brother. So you Thank you, man. I appreciate fun. that. Uh, <laughs> That's what we do. The one, the one you may, may, mentioned, uh, Peggy's <clears throat> Party, party, mm -hmm. uh, she's a, a, a big music lover, promoter here in Texas, in Austin. And her... She started doing this. It's called Peggy's Porch Party. She has a beautiful house with a big yard and big campfire and, uh, you know, beautiful trees. And she puts lights in them. And it's just very like mm. this kind of adult Alice in Wonderland kind of environment. <laughs> and she started doing these shows where, uh, you know, that she'd invite. She has a big patio and a big porch and all these bands set up there. But then the pandemic came. So she stopped for about a minute. And, but then she was kind of like, hmm, my 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 model of what I started doing is could work for this pandemic kind of uh, environment. So what she was doing is she had like, uh, there's about, you get like a 10 foot, a big square. And then say you buy tickets it's, and it's, you know, people think it's high, but it's like, it's like 70, 80 bucks per ticket. And then it has a flag. So say if you bought a ticket, you're like flag eight. So when you show up there, they, That's and they spray space. paint a big square. So you can bring your chair, your coolers and, you know, people, you know, six, seven, you can fit. If you can, however much people want to fit in the square, they can all pitch in. But, um, yeah, and then those things, uh, she started doing that during the pandemic, and she's one of the only, there's a few of them, but she's one of the only ones that she's done doing it every weekend, and she's been in it for a year, and is very successful, and wow. and has been helping a lot of that artists, because the artists walk out of there with a few grand, you know, out of money, which is unheard of during the pandemic to make that kind of money, so yeah, we're, that's a great time, and that one's already sold out, so we're, we're, nice. we're ready to awesome. go back. Yeah. yeah, I saw it too, April 9th, that's the uh, Peggy's Porch Party, 6 o'clock in Austin, uh, Texas, and yeah, yeah there's, there's a couple of cool things uh, coming up there. So BrodyLane.net. Well, AJ, it's out for some more music here, my friend, and looking yeah, man. forward to, to hearing you uh, play some music. Here we go. Dealer's Choice. Yep, yeah, it's Dealer's Choice. Right. <laughs> um, so uh, this song is not about my, about Casey, so this is about uh, – <laughs> this is one from the past, but this is about a blonde girl. Okay. A blonde girl. <laughs> <laughs> She'll re remain unnamed. It's called Anymore. Know that I ain't perfect, but my heart it knows. There ain't no one else but you that I want more. And it don't take a scientist to know the score. That I'm standing here alone, just wanting more. You don't call me, baby, now you just say my name. You don't kiss me back when I'm looking for the same. The sparkle in your eyes, it was once mine, has faded out. It's like you shut the door. You don't love me like that anymore. Oh, no. You're the last face that I see when I sleep at night. And the first one that I think of at sunrise. I spend my days and nights wondering what went wrong If you ever really loved me all along You don't call me baby, now you just yell my name You don't kiss me back when I'm looking for the same The sparkle in your eyes, it was once mine is faded out It's like you shut the door you don't love me like that anymore Been drinking off the pain Feeling like been played the fool again And it cuts me up inside I'm looking for a sign for you to make me want to stay Another day You don't call me baby, now you just say my name you don't kiss me back when I'm looking for the same the Sparkle in your eyes, it was once mine, is faded out It's like you shut the door 
You don't love me like that anymore Love like that anymore No Love like that anymore Know that I ain't perfect but my heart it knows That there ain't no one else but you that I want more and it don't take a scientist to know the score That I'm standing here alone just wanting more Bang tail bang tail chorus comprised of a sweet cornmash bass. The front has a front subtle, has a sweetness, subtle and sweetness and not too sharp. It has notes, it has of, a notes of a medium, white or white or smoky flavor, flavor, in the flavor in the middle. And the tail has a super, super smooth, smooth and warm finish. Warm finish. Back here with AJ and Brody Lane here on the backstage pass. Brandon Morell, Kirsty Krause are coming up here just a little bit. Another great Nashville artist is going to join us. Uh, he was on Idol a few years ago. Josiah Siska is going to join us there on the show, talk a little country music with him and what's been going on with his camp too as well. So stick around for that on the YouTube channel, the backstage pass, and of course right here on Facebook where we always are, uh, which is out there too as well. Thanks also to Ed Rice over at Tour Guitars and Yes, People have asked me that whiskey is good. Check it out, bangtail.com or the Easy Liquor app. Type in the word bangtail, and you don't have to leave your house. So guess what? A convenient ordering right to your door, which everybody is enjoying most of these days now that the world has gone to online shopping. So, AJ, love that too, man. Love the, the fact yeah, that you beautiful. mentioned the first album is coming out. Uh, real yeah. Soon. Cannot wait for that across all the digital platforms. Hey, I do want to jump into a little uh, rapid fire here. Kirsty loves this part of the program. We get to do all this. Right. And, Definitely have a little fun of a different series of funny questions. Uh, first up, these usually get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> first up, we'll talk about, uh, I guess, uh, television. Everybody loves different television shows out there. Uh, what have you found yourself binge watching the most? Um, actually, uh, that's the one I'm getting me in trouble because I'm not going to say that one. But I have been watching uh, this other great show. It's called. Uh, it's about uh, pirates. It's called the Pirate Kingdom, the Lost Pirate Kingdom. Have y'all seen that? I haven't seen it, huh? Man, you got to watch. I did not know that pirates uh, apparently have a huge part of um, the whole like currency trade system that started the Americas. Uh, I had no idea. I thought they were just pirates that just like broke Torps. everything, and burned everything, <laughs> yeah, and stole everything. Right? Wow. But apparently, pirates had even a political system and all this kind of crazy stuff. And uh, as far as uh, they were the first to start, you know, uh, uh, you know, kind of solidifying trade systems and currency systems. It, it, I'm, I'm getting nerded out. I'm nerding out about it, but like, I'm just way, I'm, I'm way nerded out on the pirates right now. <laughs> cool. I'll have to look that up. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep it, you know, rapid fire simple. So you don't get in trouble. Uh, <laughs> if you were able to order pizza and it's just going to be for you, you don't have to share with anybody else in your family. That means you can have whatever toppings you want on it. What is that going to look like? Uh, like, I'm like, yay! Day. Nobody likes anchovies on their pizza. I would put anchovies all anchovies and pineapple all over the pizza. And Together? Like, oh, man. Together? Yeah. Are you like, being serious? I'm serious. Oh. A little, little sweet and salty. It's delicious. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. I'm, yes. I think I'm out. We're out. Wow. So you, when you, you were asking that, I was like, yay! Somebody like looks like you know, like when anchovies. I say that, everybody's like, absolutely not. So wow. Love yeah, that. and then I, put, like I, then I put a bunch of hot sauce on it. It's delicious. Wow. Okay. And together, <laughs> anchovies. Y'all are, like, are like, definite no. Definite no. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> That's all you, brother. All, whatever, eight pieces or 12 pieces. And Michael says <laughs> crazy. I'm like. Songs, <laughs> yeah, when one of these songs goes number one, then you can, you'll celebrate yeah. right by getting your, your pizza to yourself. I mean, so asking you guys, do y'all, have y'all, y'all like anchovies? Or y'all don't mess with any of that? No, <laughs> I, I stay away from that. It's been a long time, so I guess voluntarily I don't eat that. <laughs> um, at first, I was like, "Ew, gross!" When I was younger, but I, I don't know what somebody put something them on something, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is great!" So we got like, Michael here saying "crazy" and "lol, no way." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's always a bottom. I know. You know what? I knew it wasn't going to be a popular answer. But yeah. I'm, just, I'm being honest. But it's your pizza, so you can. Your have pizza, it. but we're staying out of it too. All right, <laughs> let's let's go with this one. Uh, so settling down, uh, I guess trying to wind down. Uh, drink of choice. What are you getting into? Man, I, I like it. Just a good whiskey, man. It's a really okay. 
a good whiskey. I, 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 the commercial you keep playing, I think I'm going to order that and see what that okay. is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, I like a whiskey like with the nice big old ice uh -huh. ball in it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a good cigar. I got a couple of cigars back here. And, uh, <laughs> again, when I was young, I was like, ew, when my dad would do that. But now I'm, I think I'm slowly turning to my dad because I'm like, <laughs> here I am drinking a, a highball with a, you know, with yeah. a cigar. But uh, yeah, that's, I wind down like that. And I like, you know, fire. I like the crackle of fire, turn the fire okay. on. That, mm -hmm. that, that, that kind of makes me like peaceful. Turn off all the screens, anything with like light and screens, turn all that stuff off. Okay. So, all right. cool. I like that. Yeah. What you got? What, uh, for, as far as for vacation, uh, maybe outside of the U S where it, what's on your bucket list to go Thailand. To? I know Thailand? it sounds crazy. I don't know why, but, uh, I was a big fan of Anthony Bourdain and it seems like every time he was in Thailand, he had the most fun. So I was like, <laughs> there's that yes. little, there's that episode, uh, where he's in this little old lady's house in Thailand and she makes his killer dinner and, uh, she breaks out like a little pot like a little dish with like i guess it has some herbs in it mm -hmm. and he goes we're gonna go to commercial and then you know obviously they're not gonna show that and then when it comes back from the commercial they're all dan he's all dancing around with this little lady in her living room so i was like <laughs> i want to go to thailand <laughs> <laughs> oh that's good a hey, good choice there one thing came to mind on that too when he said uh, uh that too as well think it back but i just i love the fact you can get out of the country and just go travel uh well that's definitely an experience no doubt if you ever get there yeah keep us posted here michael yeah, says uh Dan I not, uh, not to add, uh, I just I did a tour. I just we just did a, an mm -hmm. SRO tour for the troops in Japan, mm -hmm. and they they took so such great care of us. And um, Japan's a beautiful place too. So, um, but uh, they you know have a it was great. It was great to go play for our, our troops over there at the bases uh, in Nagasaki yeah. and uh, and Sasebo. Uh, so man, I, I I can't wait to go there. I just didn't realize how far mm -hmm. it is. Like, it's far. I mean, it took 25 hours from door to door wow. to get there. I thought it was kind of like, I thought it was on the other side of Hawaii. Like, I didn't know it was like on the other side of the planet. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh my so God. I'm not a big, I'm not big on long traveling. So <laughs> let's say that's why those frequent flyer miles, they, they add up pretty quick. Kirsten, you got one final one. And we'll, we may do one more song here on the show. No doubt. Okay. One final one. If you had to describe yourself as a spirit animal or describe yourself in an animal form, what animal comes to mind? Wow, that's a good question. A lobster? Okay. A lobster, okay. I don't know why. Like, I just, <laughs> <laughs> it still gets a good one. Like we had someone say ostrich recently mm -hmm. on the show and platypus. and So yep. whatever whatever floats your boat, if you feel like you identify with a lobster, you're good. I think, good. Lobster, I think lobsters are cool. I don't know why. Like, and then if somebody wanted to eat me, at least I'd be delicious. <laughs> you'd be delicious. Dip, me, dip yeah. me in some garlic butter. Let's go. <laughs> just the garlic butter you're done for. <laughs> yeah, hey, let's play let's play one more here he's gonna play us out and of course we'll come back and uh, get ready josiah siska coming up here in a little bit formerly of american idol and doing his thing out there with his latest single to get a girl and uh it's a great great traditional uh country song so uh, aj brody lane it's all yours my friend all right man uh this is a tune uh i recorded uh, a couple years back uh with a i don't know old school cat jason bolin if y'all remember jason bolin uh this uh this is a old Vallejo song and it's called Beautiful Life. Hey sweet mama, why you gotta wear that frown? I got my own dark secrets, never let them get me down. House rents overdue, never get it on time. I got a warrant, gave me 30 days, cause I never paid my fine. What a beautiful life, and it's taking me time just to get it right. If I could swallow my pride, set my demons free, what a beautiful life this could be. This could be Wham Bam Sammy never grew up out of his years. Knocked up Jenny, left her with a cradle of tears. Ripped off Jimmy J for a quarter horse. 
I guess I never really had it so bad with my future in store. So much more for the beautiful life, and it's taking my time just to get it right. If I could swallow my pride, set my demons free, what a beautiful life this could be. It's a beautiful life, beautiful life, beautiful life. And making it round, got you by my side, beautiful life. If I could just get it right, get it right. If I could just get it right, get it right with this beautiful life. Yeah. The bangtail pour is comprised of a sweet corn mash base. The front has a subtle sweetness and not too sharp. It has notes of a medium char or white oak for a smoky flavor in the middle, and the tail has a super smooth and warm finish. Awesome. Of uh, Brody Lane on the show. I'll tell you what, yes, that's good stuff right there. So make sure you guys can bottle of that at uh, Easy Liquor out there and download the app. And of course, uh, that bag deal whiskey in, and you'll be glad you did. It comes to your door. And man, good stuff. It'll help you sleep and get over the long, I guess, holiday weekend at the same time. Or if you, yeah. like, okay, you got kids, you want your time to yourself, have a glass of that. <laughs> Put you in the right place. Also, thanks to Ed Rice over at Tour Guitars. Uh, coming up here in a little bit, uh, Josiah Siska. AJ, we appreciate the time, man. Thanks so much for joining us. And, uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, dude. It's a pleasure, pleasure. I'll, 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 find, I'll find you guys and follow you on a, on MySpace or wherever, wherever you are. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> Same. We will be sure. you. really yeah. cherish having you come on today and especially performing <laughs> those songs. And we're so much looking forward to the album. We're going to go check out their music, mm -hmm. Brody Lane on yes. all of the platforms the album is called hot dirt hot dirt hot coming dirt. out april coming out. 20th right april yes, 20th right. uh yeah april 20th april 20th and brodylane.net we'll talk to you guys here in a little bit with josiah siska on the other side here in the backstage pass presented by tour guitars and bangtail whiskey see you in a bit